Somebody may find the story I'm about to tell you incredible, but it could happen to anybody, maybe even to you. In short, we decided to build a house. My friends advised me to make sure you build a house with Itong, because they've got a program for people like you, the Itong House. It was true, the people from Itong helped me with everything, from choosing a design to choosing a building company. They also offered me a lot of practical services. You'll never believe how surprised I was when I arrived to move in. They had to be joking. Anyway, the man in the yellow overalls was incredibly relaxed, telling me that building an Itong house meant fast and easy building. With a bit of help, even the clumsiest guy could manage it. The man turned out to be a master bricklayer, who would show and explain to me how construction of such a house works. The building site is prepared in the same way as any other. The most important steps are setting out and digging the foundation, compacting the base, placing the reinforcements and concreting over the foundation plate. Of course, all the steps are vital since the quality of the foundation affects the whole building process. Thoroughness pays. Any imprecision at the beginning is hard to make up for later on. When the foundation concrete has set, you can start bricklaying. Etong blocks are delivered packed on pallets in precisely the quantity required by the project plans. They can help with unloading too. If required, a vehicle equipped with a special sea hanger can help to unload the pallets quickly and carefully. Don't start to lay the first tier of blocks until you've torched the insulating tar paper. Later on, a mortar bed for bricklaying can be laid on the hydro insulation layer. layer of lime cement under the whole surface of the block. Make the block stable by tapping on it with a rubber mallet. At the same time, check the block is level in both directions. Using a spirit level, check the height setting of the blocks in all corners. Stretch a line and start to build the wall. Lay the first tier of blocks in lime cement. The mortar thickness varies depending on the unevenness of the surface. In the corners, join the blocks with Etong thin layer bricklaying mortar. The handles, tongues and grooves enable comfortable and precise laying of the blocks without any further corrections. Do not mortar the tongue and groove joints. The other tiers of blocks are glued solely with Etong thin bricklaying mortar. Before applying the mortar, clean all the dust and dirt off the block's surface. Spread the mortar under the whole surface of the blocks. Leave an overhang for thermal insulation of the base. For outer walling, the most suitable blocks are 375mm Etong lambdas. They're not thermally insulated since the thermal insulating features of Etong are excellent. If Etong tools are employed, the labor becomes easier and more efficient. Ensure good bonding of blocks. Extending profiles can be flushed easily with a plane. If there is any unevenness, it can be planed. Sweep the surface before laying another tier of blocks. Make sure that overlapping blocks are perpendicular and vertically aligned. If you use blocks without tongues and grooves, apply adhesive mortar even on their vertical sides. For inner load-bearing walling, use 250 or 300 mm blocks for higher strength. Etong aerated concrete strength is the same in all directions, so you can turn the blocks as you please keeping their load-bearing capacity the same. It took me a while to learn the ropes, but the master bricklayer was patient with me, explaining everything. Itong thin layer mortar is used for bricklaying. I understood why the mortar is called glue. It has similar properties. It's good to reinforce masonry under window openings. 
Since aerated concrete is easy to tool, reinforcing is plain sailing. Make a groove for the bar so that the reinforcement overhangs a potential jam by at least 500 millimeters. Clean out the grooves, fill them with mortar, put in the bars, mortar properly and lay the blocks in the usual way. An outstanding property of Etong blocks is their machinability. They are easy to cut and shape, which reduces the material costs. No need to order shaped blocks or special expensive components. During bricklaying, there's hardly any material wasted. A bandsaw can be borrowed on request. Although Etong material is harmless to health, make sure to use protective clothing. Itong is made of natural raw materials, silica sand, lime and water. Moreover, the composition of Itong aerated concrete prevents mold. Using Itong lintels, thermal bridges are minimized and the base for surface finishes is integrated. Then you can fill in any gaps. Another alternative is a composite lintel, which is easily made by laying several girders, so-called flat girders, next to each other. Lay them in mortar with arrows pointing upwards again. Use a spirit level to make sure that the girders are laid precisely. Any unevenness can be easily planed off. Sweep off the dirt and dust. Finally, lay a block of tiers on the girders, mortaring all horizontal and vertical joints properly. Beware that lintels made in this way are not load-bearing until the mortar is set thoroughly. Put core reinforcement, thermal insulation and concrete into the profiles. Again, the lintels are not load-bearing until the concrete is set. The construction ran really quickly. Even the staircase was ready. I'd thought up a curved staircase. According to the design, the producer made some atypical stairs. At the building site later on, we set the stairs within a few hours. Lay load-bearing dwarf walls on hydro insulation in a layer of lime cement. Set the first air higher by the floor thickness. The Etong system floor is easy to assemble using reinforced concrete beams on which aerated concrete filler blocks are laid. Space the beams according to the laying plans. Make sure that the minimal end bearing length of the beams on the wall is 150 mm. The beams require some laying support. When laying the starting course of filler blocks, adjust the spacing of the beams. The laying is very easy and quick. Reinforce the upper part of the plate with concrete mesh. Put the beam reinforcement in the gap between the filler blocks and the beam blocks along the perimeter of the floor construction. Then, concrete the ribs, the beams and the floor plate. Do not remove the laying support until the concrete is thoroughly set. If partitions are planned when the load bearing and outer walls are being put up, put in at every other joint a stainless steel connector to anchor the proposed partition to the masonry. Mark the position of the partition on the load bearing wall. Spread lime cement mortar for the first tier of blocks on hydro insulation. Mortar the partition blocks on all surfaces.
Finally, fill the gaps between each partition and the floor with fixing foam. It began to dawn on me that building with Itong is a piece of cake. In a nutshell, Itong is a box of bricks for adults. With Itong you can make walls precisely, with minimal waste. Moreover, the material breathes and creates a healthily humid climate. Partitions, especially in the attic, can be anchored in a slightly different way. Fix a connector into the masonry with an anchor for aerated concrete. Do not glue the partitions to the load-bearing walls. The finishing touches are very quick and easy. With simple tools you can make the openings and grooves you need. Walling with Etong blocks is very efficient. The shape of the house is visible within 14 days. So I can move in. Etong is a very pleasant material with good thermal properties.